Hi, my name is Jason and this is my blog called Living with CMT. I hope you enjoy. Uh, this is the jigsaw I finished yesterday. It's a thousand pieces. And for those of you who don't know the characters, I'll explain. There we go. Up the top corner, step toe and son with their horse, Hercules. Next to them, Basil Fawlty and the ever-suffering Manuel. Thirdly, my hero, <laughs> Del Boy, only fools and horses. Up there, we've got uh, Warren Mitchell playing Elf Garnet in Sickness and an Elf or Till Death Do Us Part, whichever. The very famous landlord there, Rupert Rigsby, out of Rising Damp. Corporal Jones, out of Dad's Army. Captain Mannering, out of Dad's Army. Norman Stanley Fletcher, out of Porridge. There's Tony Hancock, uh, Hancock's Half Hour. Hyacinth Bouquet, spelled B-U-C-K-E-T, from uh, Keeping Up Appearances. And last but not least, the ever happy Victor Meldrew from One Foot in the Grave. But that's the thousand piece jigsaw I did yesterday. Um, it was very enjoyable. And, uh, I'll be doing some more soon. Hi folks, Monday afternoon. I uh, wasn't going to come out today, but I rang up the hospital this morning to try and get my stick altered. Uh, the difference, what it says is I've got a um, palm crutch and when I was when I had it about seven or eight years ago, it was fine, the right height and everything. But of course now I've got calipers. Calipers raise me up about an extra three or four inches, so it's causing me to walk side on side, which is giving me a lot of problems with my hip and my side. Um, I've come up to the hospital because they told me to come today between 1 and 4, which I thought was brilliant. Uh, I came up between 1 and 4 and they've had a loop and they haven't got any at the moment for, for taller people. So the guy is going to order me one and then uh, get back in touch with me when it arrives. Um, so while we're here, we thought we'd have our customary costa. And uh, yeah, but I wasn't going to do anything today to be honest, apart from what you saw this morning. You know, the, uh, sorry, the thing I showed earlier, the jigsaw completed. That was going to be my day. Uh, this is Deb with the Costas and I'll catch you all later. Bye for now. Morning folks, it's uh, Wednesday, no it's not, it's Tuesday, flipping it. it's Tuesday morning, it's half past nine. Uh, as you can see from the first couple of videos, um, it's been a bit of a strange couple of days. Apart from doing the jigsaw and going Costa, not really a lot's happened. Um, I had to go up to the hospital yesterday to get my sticks. Unfortunately, that didn't quite work out how I planned. Um, so last night, I decided to bite the bullet and start the petition, which I've been on about doing. I thought rather than just spouting it, I thought I would actually do what I said I was going to do. So I started the petition. And what basically my petition is, is I'm fed up and sick of people who I know and people who I find out I know on the CMT sites having to go through um, an embarrassment called a PIP assessment. Now, for those of you in America, a PIP assessment is basically a meeting that we have to have with a so-called medical person who knows nothing about you at all except what they see within an hour interview. And when they see you in that hour interview, they then manage to make up... Um, their minds as to whether you are entitled to disability benefit. Now, the problem with this is if you've got a condition like CMT, as you know, CMT is never going to get better. In fact, over the years, it gets worse and worse and worse. I'm, I'm a case of that myself. As you've, If you read my um, link underneath, you will see a bit of my story. Now, the humiliation, and the embarrassment caused by these PIP assessments is massive. It is very, very mental. Um, you might go for a physical examination, but you end up coming away needing mental therapy. I'll tell you that now. You do need therapy because they can make you feel worse, 10 times worse than you went in. They try and trip you up, which they shouldn't do. They should just ask you the straightforward questions. And what my, my um, petition is, is to stop them from basically people who've got conditions and are not going to get any better should not have to go to an assessment to prove that they are disabled. If you have a disability, which we all have, and it is a disability, that is going to get worse. Each time you go, 
you are worse because it's every two, four, six, eight, ten years, whatever. And um, mine tends to be at the moment about every two to three years. Now, what they think is going to happen in them three years, I do not know. Because if one year, like three years ago, I needed help with a lot of mobility issues because I um, was on sticks and calipers, which I still am. Um, and my balance now is worse, a lot worse. I also needed help with uh, my food because I couldn't prepare food because, as again, as you know, having CMT, it's very difficult to discern between hot and cold. It's very difficult to hold anything that's any weight because your wrists just literally give way on you. It's not easy to hold a knife and fork because you try, don't get me wrong, you do try, but you end up looking like um, an idiot. And it's best, you know, my wife usually prepares my food for me and brings it over. Now, because of this, I don't eat a lot of steaks. I don't eat a lot of things that need cutting up. I don't eat a lot of tough stuff. Um, Deb does it all for me. I usually have quite simple meals, uh, pastas, salads, uh, the odd burger here and there. But I now am being made to feel like I've got to prove I've got a disability. Now, I didn't actually go into them and say to them, look, I have a disability. You've got to help me out. I actually went for tests years and years ago, like most of you will have done, and you got diagnosed with conditions. Uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I've got CMT1A. I've got hypothyroidism, which absolutely wipes me out. And I mean wipes me out. It literally knocks me out from about four hours in. I also have severe back pain, basically spine, which they still have not been able to sort out. Um, and that is not my fault. That is not my fault, but they cannot figure out why my spine is always in pain. Um, my uh, hypothyroidism, I've obviously got tablets for that. My GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, I've got medication for that. And I have to make sure I take it every single day in my life. Uh, obviously, with my thyroid, I have to make sure I take levothyroxine every single day of my life. I'm on painkillers constantly. And it's humiliating and embarrassing to be in this situation at 47. To go to one of these assessments makes you feel like you're begging, like you're trying to pull them all over their eyes. And like I've said, what my petition, if you read it is, is to try and get them to stop people with conditions that are only gonna deteriorate from having to go for the, through this embarrassing and ridiculous farce. I've just been on the internet and in the space of half an hour, I just wanted to have a check and have a look how many DWP um, times they've been taken to court or they've had made the wrong decisions, et cetera, et cetera. And I was reading about one woman who was 33 and she suffered with fibromyalgia and something else. I can't remember what the other thing was. And she got turned down and got no points at all and she ended up taking a life. She took a life because she couldn't take it. They, they wouldn't give her anything. And the woman, the, the mother, successfully took capita to court and got awarded £10,000 because she was entitled to pick, this girl was, and she wasn't given it, this woman, and she wasn't given it. Capita have now decided that they are going to fight that. They are going to humiliate this woman even further by taking her to court and trying to prove that this woman was fit for work. Now, I'm sorry, but there's something wrong somewhere. They are saying that it's affecting their business. Well, if you did your business right in the first place, then you wouldn't need to worry, would you? I know for a fact that I have disabilities. They are basically saying to me, I don't have disabilities that affect my everyday life. You've seen my videos over the last year. You've seen me at my best and you've seen me at my worst. I have anxiety and depression, um, which I get medication for. Only the only thing is, according to my PIP assessment, I have no medication for anxiety at all. And I am quite all right to go out on my own wherever I want um, without any help with me. You know, I can just go out with my sticks and everything and go about. And they are basically failing in their duties. And I'm sorry, but I would rather give it the man down the road and let him assess me because he'd have a better chance of getting it right. Uh, I know a lot of you have had to go through it. It's humiliating and it's degrading. So if you do want to do something about it, just sign my pot sign my petition it's underneath and uh, hopefully we can get something done i only put it on last night and it's already had 75 signatures so i'm quite happy with that but keep it going share it share it with everybody you can because it's not just cmt i'm not just doing this for cmt 
you know, there's a lot of conditions out there that are not going to get any better. But they think that by giving you a test every two or three years, you might have improved enough to be taken off PIP and, and you know, I don't know, sent for work interviews and stuff. And it's humiliating. Like I said, it's just the humiliation and the embarrassment and it's causing people a lot of mental distress. It's causing them a lot of distress. I know people who are at the end of the tether through it, you know. I mean, we're talking people here from all ages, you know, from the ages of 20 all the way up to 90 or whatever, you know, and, and they're all getting turned down and it's just ridiculous and pathetic. If you have a medical condition that is not going to get better and it does affect your daily life and there's proof of that, then why should you have to be put through the humiliation and embarrassment every few years just to satisfy the government? That's my debate, simple as. So if you want to sign the petition, feel free, but share it as much as you can. We need to get a few signatures on this so that we can get it noticed. Anyway, I said I was going to do it and I've done it. I don't want people thinking I'm not a man of my word. I know I did also say that I wanted to try and arrange something for uh, people to meet in Blackpool with everything that's gone on with me, Pip. I just haven't been in the frame of mind to do it. I really, really apologise. I did really want to do that. I wanted to meet like-minded people in Blackpool, but I just cannot bring my head around it at the moment while I'm trying to sort out my own PIP assessment claim. Um, but yeah, I'll go see my uh, medical exam, my medical expert tomorrow, um, Martin, at Leighton Medical Centre. And hopefully he can try and help me and put me straight. Because, uh, Like I said, because of this, I'm not in a good place at all. I'm not, in, I'm not very uh, happy. I'm not really motivated to do anything. I can't uh, really bring myself to smile a lot and enjoy my life because this is weighing over me and they're making me feel like I shouldn't be claiming money. You know, I, I shouldn't be doing it. And they don't realise how demeaning it is to actually claim money. You don't want to claim money. When I was 19, 20, I was working as a computer operator at a massive firm called ANC and I was, being, I was night operations manager. And I was bringing it in, you know, I was enjoying it, loving it. I was loving my life. I had the whole future ahead of me. And then a few years later, it all went pear-shaped. Oh. Anyway, that's me video for today. You all take care and I'll do another one soon. Bye for now. Hi, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and a like. Thank you very much. And if you like what you saw, you can subscribe by clicking there. And if you want to see what I did yesterday, you've just got to click up there. Bye for now.